In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an image to the screen programmatically in Xcode. So let's go to Xcode. All right, we're just going to go right into the main view controller and I'm going to actually I'm going to go into the storyboard and I'm going to get a add a button to the screen say show image you know if you use the storyboard you might be asking so why would you even want to add an image programmatically, but there's lots of circumstances where it would make sense. Um, number one being if you have some kind of game where the images and objects move around and you might not know where the image needs to be on the screen. And so the storyboard wouldn't be much good to you since it puts it in a predefined place. Um, so let's go into the view controller. I'm sorry, I'll do one more thing here. Set the little butler guy, and we're going to go over here and to the H file for our view controller. And we're going to connect our button, control, holding down the control key, dragging over. I'm going to make this an action. Say show, connect, so that this button now. Um, is connected to our view controller so that we can get make it show the image on demand. So let's go into our view controller M file and right inside our show image I'm gonna put in some uh, inside our show IB action I'm gonna put in some code here. I copied this code and let's go over exactly what it is. Um, we're creating a UI image view. I'm calling it coin because that's what my image is a coin. And then I'm going to, with this line here, is allocating some memory and determining where on the screen it's going to appear. The first two here is your XY coordinates, and this is the size. <clears throat> then we just make a UI image and we say, what's the name of that image? that we want to um, associate this UI image with. And then once we have that, we're going to set our UI image view to that image. Okay? And then we actually add the um, UI image view to the view, make it a sub view of the view. All right, so that's it. So actually, so the last step is to actually add our image. I happen to have this image of a coin here, the heads. I'm gonna drop that in the supporting files. Pretty much put it anywhere, but that's a good spot. Um, really could put it in our image set. Um, dropped it in there and let's go see if this works. We'll hit play. Bring the simulator over here. There you go. There's our image. Okay. Um, like I said, these coordinates here, this could um, double the size if we make it 80 instead of 40. And you know, this is your X coordinate, it determines where on the screen it is. So if I do 250, it should be all the way to the right. If I do this 200, it should be down a little bit. Let's take a look and see how that affects things. Yeah, see I brought it down all the way to the right. Um, so you can obviously use variables in, um, in place of these integers and make it um, dynamically appear in different spots based upon what's happening on the screen. I hope that's helpful. That's how you add an image to the screen programmatically. I'll put this code right here um, in the description. Thanks.